Hey, do you hear that? Sounds like someone's arguing over there. Let's go see what's happening. After all these years, Senpai, I was hoping it would never come to settling this with real swords. Cut out that weak-sounding nonsense. Come on, it's between you and me. There can be only one victor. Uh, why are those two fighting on the road? <laughs> Someone else is here. Hey, get away from here, you two! Yeah, we're disciples of the Kono Ito art, and are about to settle things with a duel. We don't want anyone getting in the way, especially outsiders like you who know nothing of the sword arts. of the sword arts. When it comes to wielding a sword, the traveler here is super strong. Eh? So, you're just another person looking to steal our chance to compete. In that case, we'd better team up and deal with this outsider first. Sounds like a plan to me. This single chance belongs to the Kono Ito art. Huh. Bested. Whew. You finally got them to stop. Hey, you two! This is all just a big misunderstanding. We're just passing through here. We didn't want to steal anything. <clears throat> oh, senpai. How could this happen? This youngster completely overwhelmed us with only a few moves. I thought this would be our chance to show the power of the Kono Ito art to the world. Who knew we would be defeated before we even set foot in the arena? Uh, no need to say any more. What happened here only proves that we're out of our depth. <sighs> Master did always tell us that no matter how strong you may become, there is always someone stronger. But we didn't listen. As for this entry ticket, I'm afraid that no matter which of us use it, the results would be the same. Wait, what are you two mumbling about? You guys were at each other's throats just a moment ago. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. We're disciples of the Kono Ito art. Just now, we were about to duel to see who would enter the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition. This competition is very important to any practitioner of the sword arts, and since we rarely see anyone pass through here, we mistook you for a competitor trying to steal our entry ticket. <sighs> Again, I apologize. Uh, uh, just a moment, please. If it wasn't for you, I would have never realized my own inadequacy. Right. Our fight just now was a real eye-opener. I know now that I must further cultivate both my mind and my swordsmanship. Senpai, I have an idea. Why don't we give the entry ticket to him? Fine by me. Only a real swordsman is qualified to stand in the warrior spirit arena. We still require more training. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you want the Traveler to compete instead of you? It's up to you if you want to join. Either way, this entry ticket is useless to us now. We bid you two farewell. Competition hosted by the Ashiro Commission. Hmm. Since it's being held by the Ashiro Commission, why don't we go to the Kamisato Estate and ask about it? Traveler, Paimon, good to see you. Unfortunately, both the Commissioner and Miss Kamisato are out on business for the day. They are not here at the estate. Oh, we're not here to see them today. Actually, we were hoping to ask about the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition. You know, the event being hosted by the Yashiro Commission. Ah, so the Traveler wants to enter the competition too. 
I'm terribly sorry, but we were flooded with applicants and all the entry tickets were already issued last week. But if you want tickets to see the final exhibition match, I'll see what I can do. Perhaps I can get you some. Oh, no, no! Let us explain. We were able to get our hands on an entry ticket today, but we haven't decided whether or not to participate. We wanted to get some info about it first. From the sound of it, this competition is really popular. Indeed. Warrior's Spirit is a competition with a rich history in Inazuma. Not only is it a good opportunity for martial artists to test their strength, but it is also a form of honor. The Almighty Shogun hopes to use this opportunity to spread the elegance of the art of the sword to more people. Traveler, since you already have an entry ticket, you should enter the competition. It is a rare opportunity after all. By the way, given you've only heard about the competition today, you probably don't know yet, but Miss Kamisato just... Why hesitate when faced with such a great opportunity? If you're not honored to be a part of Warrior Spirit, there's no need for you to hold on to that entry ticket. There are plenty of others who are eager to enter. What are you saying, Hirotatsu? That's not how we speak to our guests. I don't mean any insult, Matarame. On the contrary, I would love to see the Traveler in action. Everyone here has heard of you. Even Miss Kamisato thinks highly of you. I always assumed you'd be someone we'd all look up to. But now it seems everything we heard were nothing more than rumors. You lack spirit. And as for your swordsmanship, well, I'm sure it's mediocre at best. Otherwise, you wouldn't hesitate even for a second about joining the competition. Hey, come on, Hirotatsu. The Traveler isn't from a martial family. Besides, spirit and swordsmanship can also be displayed other ways besides competitions. Uh, can you believe this guy? That makes two groups of people talking down to us on the same day! Ugh, there's nothing Paimon hates more than people underestimating the Traveler when they don't even know him! Well, maybe feeling hungry is worse, but still! But this Hirotatsu guy doesn't even know you! How can he say that you lack spirit and ability? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad now! Oh, he deserves an ugly nickname! Like, um... Like... Oh, not the sharpest samurai! You can run your mouth all you like, but this isn't something that can be proven with words. I, Hiratatsu, am a true warrior and don't need to go around bragging to make a name for myself. I'll take my leave now. Uh, I apologize about Hirotatsu. He's the type of person that tends to just say whatever comes to his mind. Does that mean you're entering the competition? Great! Paimon approves! Show not the sharpest samurai that you're the real deal! The competition starts on Rito in two days. I didn't get a chance to tell you just now, but Miss Kamisato left for Rito today to discuss competition matters with Miss Hiragi Chisato. Oh, really? In that case, let's go meet Ayaka and Rito! We can ask her for more details about the competition! Traveler Paimon, nice to see you again. Welcome back to Inazuma. Nice to see you too, Ayaka. Actually, we've decided to enter the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition. We heard you two were making preparations on Rito, so we thought we'd come and check things out. What a coincidence. We just finished talking about the Archon's Emissary and whether the Traveler would be interested in the exhibition. And now here you are. The Archon's Emissary? Uh, what's that? Oh. You've never heard of it? Didn't you come rushing back to Inazuma because of Miss Ayaka's letter? Letter? What letter? Uh, never mind that now. Paimon, you were asking about the Archon's Emissary? Yeah, what's that? The Archon's Emissary has a special responsibility in the Warrior Spirit event. However, 
It's hard to describe without touching on the origins of this event. Warrior spirit originated from ancient Inazuman legends. It is said that a long time ago, the martial artist who is crowned champion would be granted the special honor of meeting and engaging in a sword duel with the Almighty Shogun. However, the Almighty Shogun was far more powerful than any human being. In a direct confrontation, the duel would be over in an instant. Therefore, the Almighty Shogun would send one of her familiars as an emissary to the martial artist, who would then provide assistance and protection in the fight against the Shogun. Because the Almighty Shogun decided to convey her skills and the will to protect the citizens of Inazuma through the form of martial arts, the duel was then aptly named Warrior Spirit. Later, the event evolved into a competition that focused on the art of swordsmanship, and the tradition of a duel with the Divine has been retained as the final exhibition match of the competition. This final match allows later generations to understand the origin of Warrior Spirit and the meaning of martial arts. Sounds like a pretty important event. Yes. Nowadays, the Almighty Shogun won't attend the exhibition match in person, but she will still send a special envoy to fight on her behalf to dis- Of course, the role of the martial artist goes to the winner of the competition, and the Divine Familiar will be fulfilled by a true swordsman. This time, I will be fulfilling the role of the Archon's Emissary. Oh, so that's what this is all about! Paimon gets why this competition is so popular now. After all, Ayaka is popular. Paimon's right. Though the Shirasagi Himegimi attends some festival ceremonies from time to time, the Almighty Shogun said that this time, we need to host a competition aimed at the public and recruit a powerful ambassador to promote it. With that, oh, and by the way, this is Onodera from Yai Publishing House. He specializes in organizing events and was sent to assist us. He was the one who suggested that Ayaka be the Archon. In addition, he proposed two strategies to increase the popularity of the competition. Expanding the target audience and... Wow! Those ideas sound pretty professional. But, uh... Well, expanding the target audience means getting more people involved in the competition. Previously, competitors were required to be practitioners of one of Inazuma's schools of swordsmanship. However, this time, the requirements are different. Anyone who has a passion for martial arts can participate, regardless of na Some combat regulations have similarly been adjusted. Weapons are no longer limited to one-handed swords. Any close-range weapon that meets the length and weight requirements can be used. As for increasing word of mouth, in my personal experience, the most effective method is to hold a vote. <laughs> That's right. In the past, it was the Almighty Shogun who decided what the Arikon's emissary would wear in the exhibition match. But this time, with support from the Almighty Shogun, People can vote on one of the four seasonal styles, such as cherry blossoms or autumn leaves. Miss Kamisato will wear whichever outfit receives the most votes. Although voting won't begin until the day of the competition, my retainers have already been speculating on which theme will win. These plans are only possible because Miss Kamisato agreed to be the Archon's emissary. Uh no, not at all. It's an honor for me to have an opportunity to promote the sword arts. If anything, it's your dedication to the event that everyone will appreciate. You flatter me, Miss Kamisato. <clears throat> now then, I must get back to preparing some final details regarding the vote. So please, excuse me. Traveler Paimon, now that you're here, Miss Chisato and I can show you around the competition venue. That'd be great! Let's go! Take it easy. is an arena. Oh, Paimon had no idea the Outlander Affairs Agency would have a place like this. This is the indoor training area for the Kanjo Commission. It's thanks to Miss Chisato that we were able to use this venue. You're very welcome, Miss Ayaka. I'm only happy I could help. Oh, Chisato, what's that over there? Oh, that? Well, it's... <clears throat> Traveler, do you have a moment... 
to talk? Hmm. Where should I begin? Ah, uh, yes. That. Nothing slips by you. To be honest, I felt a little apprehensive when I first heard that everyone wanted me to be the Archon's emissary. I've been making public appearances ever since I was a child, but this is the first time I've ever acted as the ambassador for such an event. Not to mention wearing an extravagant outfit while participating in combat. In the past, only the most skilled swordsmen of a reputable clan in Inazuma were qualified to be the Archon's emissary. I'm afraid my skills can't even begin to compare to theirs. I was worried that I might not be up to the task, so I wanted to write to you and ask for your advice at that time. Yes, I know. But that's probably why I didn't send the letter in the end. You've helped me many times before, and you've always lent me your ear when I speak about my troubles. But if I'm always turning to you for help, it almost feels like you're somehow besting me. <laughs> Is it strange for a friend to think that way? Thank you. I was really delighted to learn that you also entered the competition. Hey, Ayaka! Uh-huh. What were you two chatting about? I was just saying that it's delightful to have the Traveler join the competition. Given his reputation in Inazuma, the competition is sure to be even more exciting. <laughs> yep. Having the Traveler join will definitely heat things up a little. Paimon's right. I look forward to seeing you perform. It's getting late and Miss Chisato and I must return now. The two of you should have a good rest for the next couple days. I'll see you on the day of the competition. Thanks, you two! Will do! See you on the day of the competition! Traveler Paimon, you made it. Did you rest well yesterday? That's the Traveler, composed as always. Mm -hmm. It's important to keep a good mood before a competition. We're in it to win it! Looks like you all are in good spirits today. Everything should be set to go for the opening match. Speaking of which, are these two boxes for voting? That's right, I've arranged everything. The box on the left contains the ballots for Warrior Spirit, while the box on the right is for the other events. The results will be revealed in the third round of the competition. And given how strong the Traveler is, you're practically guaranteed to make the third round, right? You bet! Mr. Onodera, we'll start with the box for Warrior Spirit, then. All right, thank you. Things are about to start soon! Let's head to the arena! Good luck, Traveler. I hope you'll do well in the competition. Well, Miss Ayaka and I should go watch the matches. Good roll. All right, maybe I'll take one more day. <laughs> <laughs> 